Hello and welcome to the red carpet of the 2024 Twin Cities Film Fest presented by Stearns Bank. I am your host tonight, Callie Bliss, and I have with me one of our filmmakers of a very special film called Canyon Chorus, Mr. Micah Meyer. You come from a slightly different background than some of our filmmakers. You are an adventure and national park expert, I should say adventure uh, influencer. Sure. Are you okay with sure. that I'm okay title? With that ter I like the term storyteller because I think whether I'm performing live or doing a corporate speaking gig or actually my background is as a professional singer or doing influencer work, it's all storytelling at its core, which is what this film is really. So, uh, you know, filmmaker is an appropriate title for me today, but yes, it sort of varies by what hat I'm wearing or what day it is. Awesome. So the film is called Canyon Chorus. It's it's kind of a an expose of your work in general, right? So tell us about your work and tell us about the film and what people should know about it. Well, it's a really fun film in that it's like a Trojan horse. So what you see on the surface is sort of this adventure by a bunch of men going out there into nature, and it seems like it's this big Boy Scout adventure. And then when you watch the film, um, there's a giant secret that you'll find out that audiences will not expect. And so that's a lot of what my work is. Uh, I set a world record as the first person to visit all of America's 400 plus National Park Service sites. And along the way, talked a lot about the type of people who aren't seen in our outdoors marketing, who aren't seen in our outdoors culture. Yeah. And that's a lot of what this film is about. It's about how we can better make space for all people to feel like they can be themselves both out in nature and anywhere they live. Because ultimately, nature doesn't judge us. So hopefully we humans can be the same as nature. Amazing. So I just want to add to that because I did watch the film okay. and got a little teary eyed myself. Good, so I'm also a music major background. Yes, yes. So you have a character in the film named Larry, yeah. who is a very special person for you personally. Tell us who Larry is and tell us why you chose this cast of characters to go on a whitewater rafting trip through uh, Desolation, yeah, yeah. Desolation Canyon. Yes, it's okay. Larry had some struggles remembering the name as well, <laughs> so you're in good company. Good. Uh, Larry's my college choir director, and I think anybody who's been a choir kid, we all know that these people do it for much more than just the teacher paycheck. Um, they're really passionate about it, and I think when you're making art with people, especially not as a soloist, but as a community, as a choir group, you just really get close with people. And so he was my college choir director who became my mentor, and now he's one of my best friends. And so he really shepherded me through certain parts of my life that that were really hard to get through yeah. and now as an adult I talk to people and I reference him as my mentor and a lot of other adults say to me like what is a mentor and when I explain it to them they say god I wish I had one of those so I think this film really touches on something that all of us want and that is connection and feeling like we're being seen and able to help others and so that's a really cool theme of this film is just the relationship that Larry and I have as mentor and student and friend and friend and how that applies to everyone else's lives. Amazing. So you now live in Minneapolis. You are now one of our own. Tell, tell us who is it that we can help you get connected to, What knowing that you are a steward of Mother Nature, which we love here in the North. How can we help you in your efforts in bringing more diversity, more inclusivity to the world of outdoor zing? Yeah, well, I'm a homeowner here in the Twin Cities, so this is where my roots are now. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of active stuff going on for the outdoors community in the upper Midwest. I don't think people often think about it, but there's so much going on here. A lot of companies headquartered here. Um, but as a creator, as somebody who works in entertainment and media, it's harder to meet those people. So if you're watching this, if you're a creator, if you work in film or entertainment, I would love to connect because it's just nice to have colleagues. A lot of times I'm flying to New York or L.A. to do this sort of thing, but yeah. it'd be really fun to connect with folk who also live here in the upper Midwest. So if that's you, hit me up and let's make some magic together. How do they find you? What channel? Yeah, Instagram is great or micahmeyer.com, my website, or just type in my name. There's like no other M-I-K-A-H Micahs out there. So my parents had to be super extra when naming me. So <laughs> it's really easy to find me. Okay, last thing. Of the five of you on this trip, who's the first most likely to die? Oh my God, definitely Ummer. Like he will, he will, he's watching this right now. And he's like, yes, I don't know how I didn't die on this trip. We love Ummer to death. He can be a little clumsy sometimes. Um, he will tell you that I think the last rafting trip we went on, I was the one who fell off the raft, which to be fair, I was dancing on it and I oh. slipped on the edge. So, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, um, but I think Ummer would also admit he'd be the most likely to die. So uh, I feel safe saying that. Well, Micah Meyer, everybody, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.